Welcome to this video that will show you how to use AI in your chatbot. So we'll start by creating a chatbot by following the steps uh, from the chatbot uh, creation process. So we'll give it a name, AI Demo, and we'll choose to deploy it on uh, the web for the purpose of this demo. And we'll use an empty template. When we arrive on the chatbot, we can activate the AI part. We could actually watch the video but since uh, you're currently watching it you'll be in an infinite loop so we'll just start we'll choose a language so uh, we'll keep english we'll stick with english with the, the purpose of this demo but there are uh, others and as you can see the underlying technology is dialogue flow when we're ready to deploy we will be able to use this uh, connection to uh, connect to dialogue flow directly uh, what we're going to do is to use pre-built intents. That means uh, these are pre-trained intents with already training sentences and so on that you can use to train your chatbot and to answer specific questions. So what we're going to do, we're going to import it. And as you can see inside there, there is also already this, uh, this training. So the kind of sentences your chatbot is trained to detect and answer. And what we're going to do is we're going to update it. That way we inform Dialogflow that we are requesting like an update of the chatbot. And then we're requesting a joke. As you are going to see, the joke's intent is detected. That means the chatbot could answer something related to a joke. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So the user requested a joke. Now let's tell a joke. So to do that, we'll go to match uh, intents with uh, answers. Uh, we're going to select the intent uh, jokes we just created, and we're going to create the joke bubble. Now it's good. We're fine. We save. And once we save, we're going to go back to edition. We're going to go to see our joke and start writing our joke. So we'll click there, select, delete, and replace the text. As I'm not very good at making jokes, I found one on the internet, so uh, you can read it. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus, and I think the joke needs an explanation, so I'm going to add a tiny Swiss flag as an explanation, and we're going to look uh, for the Swiss flag and replace uh, the image with a Swiss flag image, as you can see. That's a big plus. Uh, so we're going to use this one. We can now test. So the child asks us uh, how it can help. We ask for a joke. And now we're going to have a joke. So that's it for the joke part. But now we, we are going to create our own intent. So let's create an intent about pricing because people often ask about uh, pricing. So if you're a software company or uh, if you offer a service, this is the, the typical kind of question you'll have on your chatbot. And so what we're going to do is in the same way that we saw in uh, jokes.get, um, we're going to add training sentences so that are uh, questions that the user could ask your chatbot and that your chatbot need to detect. So once again, we're going to update before testing and we're going to see like uh, uh, if it works. So what is your pricing or what is your price that is not in the list? So the idea is with these training sentences, the, um, the chatbot is going to expand on the training sentences in order to understand more. So now, you, as you can see, uh, the pricing intent is detected and we're going to follow the same process and match an intent with an answer. So we're going to write a pricing, the text bubble. And once again, we're going to save. We are going to test everything and ask uh, what about pricing. And we can see that it works. As you can see, you can use other uh, pre-built intents 
So that's the ID. You can select the, on your topics, uh, the topics you want to have. Is it weather? Is it uh, hotel booking? Is it food delivery? Uh, you can do that. Or create your own.